everyone. Welcome to a chairside chat with me, Michelle Strange. And I am going to chat. I'm on my lunch break. And I, uh, last week, got a bunch of questions about the Gleason Guide and sharpening with it. And I've had an IGTV um, video of this, so you can go back and look at this one. This one's going to be a little bit longer because it's just a... I don't know, maybe it's a little harder to explain, but once you get the hang of it, it's so easy. And I try to remember that it wasn't always so easy. I've been doing this for a solid 15 years. I've had this little Gleason guide that long. And so let's take a look. I'm going to actually use my bare hands um, and on with my instruments because this is clean. My instruments are clean and they will get sterilized once I'm done. So don't come for me. <laughs> they will get sterilized. Um, but let's learn more about the Gleason Guide. Okay, so with the Gleason Guide, you can use it on any kind of stone. On the Gleason Guide, you have a Gracie side and a universal sickle side. And the ramps are just a little bit different. So even if, I think mine might look a little different because mine is old. I've had literally a Gleason Guide since I graduated hygiene school. And so I'm gonna go look at my instruments. I'll usually start with like my anterior sickle. Now the key to this, and this is where I see a lot of, um, of my fellow clinicians that I show this to, if I'm ever at a booth and I'm showing it, and I'll definitely with my students. It's the fact that you gotta have three points of contact. So you're gonna be up against the wall here, you're gonna be on the ramp, and then you have to make sure that the, the blade is actually on the guide or the sharpening stone itself. So against the wall, pull it down towards the ramp, make sure it's nice and even. Can you see how everything fits? And then there's a way to jack this up. So if you're doing it like this, if you're too far like this, yeah, you're not gonna get like an even cutting edge and hopefully you can get up there and see it. So what I do is I have this nice little grip with my thumb and I just do, and then I kind of every few strokes, I'm moving it back and forth and you can actually hear it, right? So I do show people this and I have them start out slow. So really kind of focusing on that first spot and then they maybe make a little adjustment and they might do the back end of that cutting edge. But just like you learn with scaling, like it's sometimes just a feel and then I would flip it. I use a ping ring, which I do not have out with me right now, but um, I also use the light to just make sure that my cutting edges aren't all crazy. And then I'll flip it. And again, like I'm fast at this now, but it took some time to get to that. And I definitely start out slow because I really wanna make sure that you're always, so what will happen is you'll lift up from that, the actual stone. And I see a lot of this, where they lift up from it and they'll do it like this. Obviously I can hear it on the stone, but I'll, that's not gonna give me a really good edge. So you're gonna make sure that you got all three points before you start moving in. And sometimes you can do that pendulum swing as you're moving. That definitely takes a little bit of practice too. But if you're used to um, hand sharpening, this is a different beast, but keep trying, it'll come. So I'll flip and I'll do a Gracie now. So let's go with, um, you know, I love a 17, 18. I'm gonna do the same thing. Oh man, I sometimes do like to jack that up. Okay, that's way better. That felt wrong. So same thing on the wall, on the ramp, on the stone. Again, making sure that you're not lifting up Make sure you're not pulling up this way. And if you are just getting used to it, go slow. Now, because the Gracie has like a shorter cutting edge, and I'm not, I, my, I don't really do much of a pendulum swing, I do a little bit of it. And I really don't have any issue with my toe becoming too sharp. But if you do, I think it's probably because you're too far forward. And if you're not getting it sharp enough, it's because you're too far back. So you just gotta find that middle ground. So the back of that cutting edge is against the wall. And then, y'all see that flexion? Making hygiene instructors mad all over the world. Um, so same thing, ramp, wall, 
stone. And again, if you're too far this way, you're gonna get part of that, the wrong part of the cutting edge. And if you're too far this way, you'll get the wrong part of the cutting edge. See how I'm just right there against the back of it? Slow. And like I said, eventually, and if you have multiple cutting edges and you're using this for the first time, I'll be the first to tell you, you might be here for a hot minute just to even them out. But then I use my light. Look at that lovely little cutting edge. All right, that's it. Let me know if you have any more questions and you can always go to um, PDT and look up their YouTube stuff.